Yo, what is going on guys? It is Prodigy today. I hope you guys are all having a great day. And today I have a great video to show you guys. Today I got my very first Deanimizer Strike and Infinite Warfare. Yes, the tactical nuke. And I'm going to show it to you guys right now. But unfortunately, I only got the last bit of the gameplay, so I can't show you the whole thing. So in order to add a little bit more flair to the video, I'm going to tell you some tips and tricks to get a Deatomizer Strike of your own in Infinite Warfare. And as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And without further ado, let's see that nuke. Alright, so here we are in the gameplay for the affected Deatomizer Strike. We were playing on throwback. I was about 20 to 22 kills in before I actually started recording. And as I got closer and closer in kills, I got so excited. This was my first ever Deatomizer Strike in Infinite Warfare. I've been trying to get it this whole time. Infected as a game mode has been out. The only thing I wish they would change about the Deatomizer Strike in Infinite Warfare is that you can end the game in game modes aside from just Team Deathmatch. But for Infected, I do understand why it's not. And you can even hear the guy reacting in the game chat. It's Pretty cool guys on the other hand the closest resemblance i can see this game having to a nuke in a different call of duty is the kem strike in call of duty ghost that being said is that whenever the bomb does drop the maps turn a tint of orange and it did not in the game except for team deathmatch and infinite warfare but what's different about the deatomizer strike in infinite warfare is that there is no maps that change dynamic map elements whenever you do get a nuke like it was on strike zone when you got a chem strike those are the only factors I really saw similar. I just thought that this resembled the KEM strike the most. And the best way to get a Deatomizer strike of your own is two ways. One, you can play around the hot spots where your teammates are at, or you can run around the edges of the map. And what I mean by hot spots is that if you look at your mini map whenever you play infected, you see a huge cluster of people in one spot on the map. So if you go over there, there's going to be a high chance that all the zombies will be coming that way, trying to kill all of you. So that's a way to get a lot of kills, but might also be a high risk of dying. Since there's such a high volume of zombies, there might be too much to handle and they could surround you. But if you stick to playing around the edges of the map, you don't have to worry about all the zombies coming to the clusters of people. And you can just run around the edge sort of getting scraps. And also, you might get lucky finding their spawn of AFK players getting a few kills as you go. And those scrap kills from the clusters will start to add up and snowball effect to get more and more kills towards your nuke. Alright, so that is the end of the video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy the Deatomizer Strike, hit that like button. And make sure to subscribe for more great Infinite Warfare content like this and more videos to come. I hope these tips help you guys get your own nuke in Infinite Warfare. If it does, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching once again. I'll see you all in the next video. This is Prodigy. Have a great day, guys. Peace out, everybody. That's why I do this for you. I do this for my father, who I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. I do this for my mother, who's finally clean, you no longer a fan. I do this for you. I do this for my sister, my wife, and my kids, cause they part of the team. I do this for you. All the naysayers and haters who made me one of the greatest. I know it kills you inside, that's why I do this for you. I do this for the kids who sit a bit outside the mix.